So this part, this part's for Biggie and the, uh, holy hell man, up the chill breath. Um, for Biggie and the uh, cannoli crew. So what we've got here, Andy's never tried these before. So we're in Blackheath and we're gonna give them a run. Look at that. Cannoli, ricotta cannoli. Explain what a cannoli is. I don't exactly know, but they're like amazing. And <laughs> And they're like they're they're like an Italian dessert, and Italians love them. And Biggie, for the last few years, they're, they're like his favourite thing in the whole world. So our little crew of guys, and now the cannoli crew, because every time we're in Adelaide, we'd be smashing cannolis with Geordie. Um, and they're performance enhancing. Of course, it's like it's like the key to the king of the circus's strength. It's like to not have its kryptonite, he has to have them. It fuels him. Mm. It's called PECs. <laughs> Performance enhancing cannoli. Absolutely. So we've got two of them here. We've got a big one for Andy and a big one for me, and uh, it's going to be amazing. Get I'll around. probably get the runs after this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's like going to enhance your speed to get to a toilet. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Next, let's go on to the next venue. The Mad Max films, Mad Max 1, 2. They're probably the better ones. And then you've got the third one was called Beyond Thunderdome. So there's part of the film is when Max gets dumped out into the desert as a punishment from this. It's all dystopian future, post-apocalyptic type, thi type thing. Anyway, he gets run out of town basically and dumped in the desert. He gets found by this sort of tribe of kids basically um, who are living off the grid in this little oasis that's sort of in the middle of nowhere that nobody knows. A lot of that those scenes in that oasis were actually filmed in this location here back in 1985 um, and it was referred to in the film I think as a crack in the earth and it's quite a beautiful location I watched the film again the other day since I came to the, here and you can see it all that it doesn't look any different now obviously they built some props and stage things into it and whatever but here is it still looks exactly like it does in the film and this is a magic location man this staircase here, and you see it sort of towards the end of the film when the tribe leave that location. This is like the entry and entrance to their hidden location, and above it, obviously not here, is just desert. And this is like the crack in the earth that like reveals this oasis. It's really cool. Back a curtain or something on a, on a forgotten world. I I can't believe how beautiful this. This waterfall is. It's ridiculous. see there that that almost looks like a boar's head even from here oh yeah I see that now so the snout kind of sticks out it looks even more so from over on narrow neck so where we are here this is boar's head lookout are you filming yeah, yeah. So this is a boar's head lookout this this ridge line here this really dramatic ridge line is, is narrow neck and it stretches for about 15 kilometers so the valley where we were just lifting is this one this is a mega long valley and we came in from from that end Came across and we sort of tucked up around the end of, end of that ridge line over there. So we were all the way around that corner. All the way around the top end there, yeah. So we were, we were basically directly south of where we are now. And then over, <coughs> over the saddle of Narrow Neck there is into the Jamison Valley. And that big mountain in the middle there is, is called Mount Solitary. And it's the, the really definite feature that you always see when you look from, say, the Three Sisters or anywhere into the Jamison. And down beyond is 
down towards Burra which is actually Sydney's um, water supply. 